Okay, here we go. I'm going to try and edit this. Um, this one actually doesn't look too bad. Maybe I'll go back and do this one. Um, yeah, let's do this one. This one is a really complicated image, um, so this will be a really good one to do. All right, so here we go. So the way I shot this would have been to start with an ambient, uh, lower ambient, and with this, I shot um, five stops, or five exposures, one stop apart. So there we are, there's our five. So this is gonna be what I call my main or base element. I'm gonna start with this, and it is a little too low. I kinda like to get this peak of brightness around the H of histogram um, for a base. So like right in there. Oh, good, it is in focus. I was worried about that. That overall looks pretty good. Maybe a little too yellow. The wall should be cream, not yellow there. That looks that looks pretty good. That looks about where I want it. I'm seeing blue on the floor up there in the cabin. So um, I will be mindful of that, although I don't think that's something I need to do right now. And I always mark my first one with the green, just so I know where the series starts out at. Now I'm gonna, um, oh, I wanna blow out these windows. I want it to look in flight, so I'm not going to do what I would normally do here, which is try and capture out the, the front of the, the cockpit. So I'm going to use this to reinforce some of my darks that I want dark. Um, it's a little way too yellow here, so I'm gonna pull out a lot of blue or pull it towards the blue, and then I'm going to pull out a lot of blue so it doesn't turn blue. I just want it dark, but with no color cast. So that looks good to me. Um, I don't think I really need this layer, so I'll mark that layer green. Um, this looks pretty good. I'm looking at the windows for this pull, and that looks pretty good for the windows. Maybe I'll bring it up just a little bit so that they glow a little bit more. And that, that looks really good. So I'm going to mark that one green. I like that. And now I'm looking at this, this right here. Uh, let's bring the contrast a little bit. This is all I care about in this image. It's going to look wonky when I'm done. I always white balance off something white in the image. And that's going to be just that screen pull. Now I have a series of flash images. That's an overexposed flash, so we're not going to use that. That's an underexposed flash, so we're not going to use that. Uh, this is a pretty darn good looking flash. Let's bring it down a little bit, add a little bit of blue, and that looks pretty good. It's a little hot over in here, but I, I don't think, yeah. I didn't correct for that, so I'm going to have to just deal with that. I did move the light a little bit. Um, okay, so I'm going to use this first one. I'm going to set that light for here, what I want there, which overexposes the galley. Then I'll use this one just a little bit less, the galley, and the... There we go. Okay, so now... <coughs> Select all these layers and send them over to um, Photoshop. And uh, let's see what it does. All right, so first thing I do is I align all the layers so that uh, make sure in case there was any movement that they all align correctly. And they do. So, um, no, we're still in progress here. There it is. Aligning. Okay, so that, that, that are my three um, ambient layers. So I'm going to put those into a folder. These are my two um, flash, so I'll put those in a folder. And then that leaves this. This is the easiest edit of 
the whole edit. Put that on top, zoom into this. The nice thing about monitors is they're square. So all you have to do is come to this, and just make straight lines. You know, when you've got that black line, go down the black line, that, that hides it really well. There, go like that, mask, and there it is. So that will look good. And that's normal. There we go. That's going to look really good. All right. Now our top two layers are the flashes. Oh, no, they're not there. These are the flashes. So let's see. So I'm going to switch them and um, put a mask on that and then bring these highlights down with the mask as best I can. There we go. I don't really care about it being perfect. I just have to get it close. Hey, that looks pretty good. I think my flash layer looks really good. I like that. So I'm going to turn that off and go back to my ambient layers. Okay, so that'll be my base ambient. That'll be my dark ambient. And that'll be my... Oh, is that my windows? Yeah, that's my windows. That's what that is. Let's go ahead and pull windows first. This is boring, so I may just speed this up, but um, I'm just going to trim these out. <laughs> Windows tr oh, let's get the okay, so there I trimmed um, all my windows and made a uh, mask for it. Now I'm going to put black mask on this, and all I'm going to do once I do that is bring in a little bit of white where I want that to be darker. That's too fast. My flow is at 37, so I'm going to bring it down to something a little bit more manageable. I don't really like this carpet all that much, so I'm going to bring that down. Um, bring it down a little there. There we go. I think by and large this all looks pretty good. So now I'm going to copy this group and bring it underneath the flash. Put a black mask on the top group and put that into luminosity mode. Um, and because it's got a black mask, you can't see any of the effect on it. Now I'm going to the flash level, which you're seeing 100% flash right there. And um, I'm probably going to make a copy of the flash layer just because I like this floor lot better there and I may just cut in just the flash layer for that but for now we're going to put a white mask on that we're going to take it down to 80 percent or so right around in there and we're going to start bringing in the ambient with the black brush so let's see that should get rid of those hot spots there Get rid of the shadows there. Get rid of that shadow there. Get rid of this hot spot up at the top. Get rid of that shadow there from a the flash. Get rid of that. I don't think we're going to. Good. That looks a lot better. Well, let's bring some dark into this side. That's not what I wanted, so let's back out of that. Okay, here we go. Let's put some dark into this side here to give us some contouring and maybe a little bit more dark here. 
gotta be white to get that dark. There we gotta see how that darkens just a little bit on this side. There we go. Yeah, I just want it to be more light on the inside. Get a little bit dark on this. <sighs> That's probably a little too much, so I'm gonna take the opacity down a little bit on it. I don't want it to be too obvious. That looks pretty good. Let's see. Let's go back to this level. I see a shadow there, so let's see if we can get rid of that. Nope. B for brush. There we go. Get rid of that shadow. There we go. That looks a lot better. There's a shadow down there still. I'd say by and large that looks really good. Now let's see about those windows. I need to get that, that window whitening right back. You know what I'll do? I'll just make a copy of this layer and move it up on top. And then there, my windows are gone again. Woohoo! Okay, I think things by and large look really good. I'm not going to need the second copy of the ambient. But if I did... Um, I'd switch to a white brush and I just bring in, try it, yeah, a little bit more of a an ambient feeling in it, which just got rid of all that dark I just put in there right now. Okay, I believe overall we've ended up a little bit too yellow. So my next step is I'm gonna combine this all to one layer. I'm going to go into camera raw and just take a little bit of yellow. I want those walls more cream than they are. What are you doing? Oh, you know what? I just upgraded this. There it is. I saw it, you bastard. There it is, hiding. I hate Apple sometimes. Little bits fall off the screen and then you don't know where they are. There we go. Uh, there we go. That probably makes the yellow better. You know what? I'm not going to do that quite yet. So I'm canceling. Um, cancel all changes. Yes. Okay. I want another copy of the layer because I don't want to take all the yellow out of everywhere. I like the yellow in the wood. I just want to take the yellow out of the wall. So now I'm going to go back to camera filter. Take that yellow out. See when I take that yellow out, see how light that makes the, the the wood. I don't like that. So what I'm going to do is put a filter on there and then I'm going to go black and bring that color back into this wood right there. There. See how that works? So I didn't get rid of all that yellow there. There we go, and then down here on the floor. I still think I'm going to pull that one copy of the floor and just replace the floor in another step or two. Um, okay, that looks really good. Let's take some of the color out of the roof. So, yeah, these nice straight lines. easy to just select that roof like that and it can be as rough as we want and then let's use the um, why did you do that stupid day we want um, hue saturation layer and we just want to take the saturation down a little bit and that whitens up the roof perfect um, here I'll turn it on and off see it takes all that yellow glow out of the roof looks good um, okay I'm seeing some blue down in here I want to get rid of so let's make another layer another copy of that layer and um, do I want to take out blue or do I want to add yellow Let's see. So I'm watching this area right here. Let's see if I add yellow. I still see the blue, so I think I want to get rid of blue. 
Um, let's go down here to color mixer. Pull that blue out. There we go. That looks really good. So save that. Put a black filter or a black mask on that. And then just bring it in right in here. Oops, one of white. There we go. So that got rid of that blue and then um, enhanced that yellow just a teeny bit um, without taking the blue out of the monitor. I don't know if you saw that or not when I was working it. It took all the blue out of the monitor, which we can't have. Um, you know what? I'm going to go back to this. I want to see something. If I bring that up on top, what's it do to the... Yep, that's what I thought. It works really good for that monitor, and we're going to go into the flight, um, the cockpit. We're going to bring these in, too. We can just be really rough. It really doesn't have to be all that good. The important thing is, is to get those in there. And that one right up there. And then we'll just um, paint white on those. There we go. Look at that. See how those pop now? And now when we look at this from way back, let's take that selection off. Um, there's off and on, off and on. See how it just pops in into there? That I think really makes makes it work really good. Okay, now what was the level? It was a flash level, so it's going to be one of these that I'm going to pull the floor off of, like that floor right there. All right, so let's go in here and make a mask here. there and make a mask and then you know what that looks really good let's bring in just a little I'm gonna bring this flow way down low so I can just bring it in subtly but look at that look how much better that's gonna look yeah yeah me likey Oh, you want to turn that light on? Should we turn that light on? All right, let's make a whole nother layer. Um, zoom into this. And let's select that light. There we go. Um, put a mask on that light. Let's go over to our windows and we're going to pick that color right there. And that'll be our light color. We'll go up here and paint it in. Oops. Got to go on that layer. There, paint that in, and I think that gives us just enough. Let's see what happens if we blur that um, mask just a little bit, um, just to kind of give it a little bit of a glow. Let's see. I kind of like that. Give it a little bit of a glow. Yeah, let's maybe add a little bit more white. There we go. Yep, that looks really good. Um, let's see. Here's the floor, and one of the ideas I had about the floor was I didn't like that stab of light. That's coming from the, the stairs which are open and they wouldn't be open in flight. So 
We're just going to clone that out. Nope. Too light. Let's go like there. Yeah, there we go. Shit, Jesus. Let's get that so it matches. Hide the repetition. And then we'll come back here, bring that back, bring our flow way down, bring this way bigger, and we'll just lightly tap it in there and it'll help hide that transition. There. There we go, that looks pretty good. Um, okay, I am seeing a white spot right along right in here that I don't like. So I'm going to create a new layer and get rid of that because um, that just looks bad. So what I'm going to do is grab a paintbrush with that color and just paint right along in there and get rid of that little bit of white. I don't know if that was a reflection or where that was coming from. That looks a lot better. Um, let's see. Okay, I think at this point that looks pretty good. I'm going to save that back into Lightroom. And that's where I'm going to do all my straightening. I don't do straightening until I get everything all put together and I think this is pretty well put together um, so I'll do some straightening um, I really didn't get a whole lot into building up my shadows and, and highlights I would do that with those darker or lighter layers and bring those in more <clears throat> um, for where I want shadows and I, I kind of really still do want um, I want this side to be darker. Um, uh, I'll try a couple different things with that. Um, right now I'm going to have to wait four minutes for this thing to save because it has to save in large format. Um, and that takes a long time. Um, well, through the magic of television, I have discovered a couple things. One, it takes forever to save that many layers back into Lightroom. And two, my lava layer works a hell of a lot better when I put a mic or a battery into it. So here we go. Here we are. I hope we sound a little better. And here's where we are with this. First thing I want to do, gosh, I'm still seeing a little blue in there. Let's just Let's take a little bit of blue out from the saturation right there. I think that that's all I needed. Um, as long as we're down the list, I go into guided and I'm going to pick a couple of places to um, put what should be straight lines. This, this right here should be a straight line. So I'm going to just draw a line down that and that'll give me a perfect vertical. And then let's go up here and right along that door frame. So the inner door frame, um, right there. Nope, that's not it, is it? Um, oh my holy heck. Um, let's go down, just follow the line down to right there. That is the correct line. And there we are. We've got our verticals. I know that's probably been driving a lot of you way crazy. So there we are. We're fixed. All right. Let's go back up here. And, you know, I think in Lightroom, it's just always a really good idea to just go straight down um, what you've got here. So let's, um, let's add a little bit of contrast there. I think that looks pretty good. Um, and let's see, 
let's play with the highlights a little bit and see if we can get those right where I'm just doing this all by eye I'm right now with highlights obviously I'm looking at the highlights which would be the windows so those look pretty good let's see shadows yeah I don't want this to look like it was edited in by a real estate editor in Vietnam so I, I want some contrast I want I want to see some life in this so not going to do anything there let's look at our blacks there we go that looks really good um, just a teeny bit of texture um, you know what no, I don't like those blacks that deep there we go there yeah I do a lot of just you know it's it's all by eye I just look at it back and forth till till I'm happy with it I guess that looks pretty good now I'm going to bounce it right back into Photoshop um, and do my final adjustments this is where I pick out all those little pieces of dirt anything that's in the filter or in the on the sensor dirt you know all that kind of stuff um, I'm gonna go in here and um, see these spots on the glasses I'm gonna use spot healing and take those out um, basically do a lot of my cleanup and my my final sort of things that um, that I do to, to make it you know just pop um, I'll probably add in a little bit more um, contrast here because um, I end up liking a lot of contrast um, but I just kind of do you know the final things that make this me um, here and uh, just finish it all out okay here's the final edit um, you can see the the glasses are cleaned up a lot better they look a lot sharper you know what um, they could use you know this is the thing about editing I always go back in it I always want to fix them up a little bit more I don't like that I don't like that spot I don't like that spot don't like that spot I don't like spots on glasses let's see what that looks like right. so there we are pretty much um, got all that stuff cleaned up that I wanted to um, added a little bit of contrast just cleaned up a lot of the the distractions that I felt and and there is my final image um, all straightened and, and cleaned up and uh, I think it looks really good I'm really happy with it so that's what I do to, to do an image um, the advice I would give is don't rely on a formula um, you um, need to come in here and look at the picture and look at it hard and find out what's wrong with it and use as many layers as you need to fix the problems um, experience will teach you what those problems are um, the more experience you have the more things you will see as problems the more things you will fix so if you're looking at this going oh my god I would have never thought of that or that you know just take your time and spend some time and work on it and and learn about what matters in pictures um, I'm sure there are people looking at this too going well Dave you missed this and you missed that um, maybe I did and maybe I just don't know that I'm missing that yet because I'm still learning too so um, you know just always do the best that you can and that's that's the what it's all you can do um, you know I, I just go into each picture I go into each shoot and I just you know what am I trying to say how am I going to say it and how can I bet what tools do I have that are best for communicating that um, and then when I come to editing you know I just look at the picture and I go okay what's wrong with it how do I fix that if I have to add 10 layers to fix 10 different things then I add 10 layers to fix 10 different things I don't care the important thing is the final product and uh, to me you know it's it's all about 
fixing the problems. Some people think, oh, you're so lucky you spend all day just taking pictures and pushing buttons and you make pretty pictures. Well, no, I don't. Um, I spend all my time in here in the edit bay fixing those things I didn't fix when I shot it live. Um, I, I think I do get to push buttons and make pretty pictures, but that's only 5% of the time. 95% of my job is fixing problems, either on the location, um, in the field, or, or here, um, fixing things that I didn't fix in the field. So, um, you know, if it takes you a while, don't worry about it. It will take a while to make um, good images. Um, so, anyway, thank you very much. I hope you have a great day.